Welcome back to Season 11. Welcome to Season 11 of TVGP's Critical Misses, show where we uh, catch up on all the hits we've missed. I'm your host, Boston, and joining me as always is Moonpeer. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Um, we, uh... <laughs> I love you, man! Um, if you're a patron at uh, the $5 gonna... or uh, higher oh, tier... We... Yes. Are we going to get DMCA'd for that? I hope not. Um, fingers <laughs> crossed. Um, uh, see you in uh, YouTube jail. Um, if you're a patron at the uh, $5 tier or higher, over at patreon.com slash E1M1. The ones are numbers. Uh, you can listen to the uh, the full production meeting that Moon and I had uh, for prepping for this season. We thought we'd we typically do it. Uh, anyways, figure we recorded this time. I uh, figure we'd do a real quick one. Turned out to be f almost 42 minutes long, so there you uh -huh. go. Um, but we we also did a lot of miscellaneous cleanup and stuff like that, too. Yeah, yeah. There, there's there's a lot of good stuff in there. There's a lot of good uh, chatting, not about not only about this season, uh, but also about kind of what our backlog looks like, what we need from you guys, suggestions, uh, recommendations, that sort of thing. So go check it out. Um, if you're not a patron, go sign up over there. Patreon.com slash E1M1. Go on to now, Buzz. Uh, so we're going to do... Season 11 is going to be our, our... I think Moon and I have both been uh, anxiously awaiting this theme. Uh, because uh -huh. it's sort of... It's been percolating in the background let, pretty much since we started the show. Yeah, and let's be honest. like Based on how last year, the year of 2021 went... Mm. This seems to be a theme in a lot of video games and media and everything else <laughs> suddenly coming to the front. Right. It's, this theme is the roguelikes of mass media. Okay. Well, then we finally got in here, so let's we'll just cancel this show because roguelikes, God, roguelikes are everywhere. Uh, so we're going to do a season of uh, time loop movies. We've got five time loop movies. Uh -huh. uh, and these are different than time travel movies. That's a different season. Uh, so we're specifically talking about looping movies where uh, an incident or something uh, loops multiple times. Um, so we're going to start off with Happy Death Day, uh, which is, uh -huh. I think, you haven't seen this one, right? Correct. I don't think either of us have seen this one. No, um, but I, I think this is where the, the genesis of this theme season started, where it was just like, Look, I kind of want to watch Happy Death Day, and the second one, what do we do with that? Like, what do we do with this information? <laughs> it was a, it was a com combination of, because our friends over at the Bouncecast were all in a time loop kick. Mm. Uh, mostly, no pun intended, with the time loop kick and the Nolan reference to to the dreamy <laughs> movie Inception. Um, right. They were all in, in, a, in a kick because Palm Springs came out, which I think is the official thing responsible for you being like, yeah, we should watch some of these because they mm -hmm. started, they watched Palm Springs, then they also watched Happy Death Day and Two You came out around about the same time. Gotcha. So it was like, yeah, these are all really good things that Boston hasn't seen, so we should probably get these out the way mm -hmm. at some point soon. Yeah, we've got five movies here. I don't believe I've I haven't seen any of them. Uh, I, haven't, <laughs> that, I haven't seen uh, I haven't seen Happy Death Day, even though I've been curious about it because um, I feel like the 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 poster here with the the Happy Death Day cake that's getting stabbed and there's always been the um some sort of person with like a baby mask on that's clearly evil um you, you know as, as as we've said before we try and go into these with as little information as possible um so i i don't really know a lot about happy death day other than it's probably going to be a pretty good time if it has this title and it seems seems okay um, uh, this is also a production company, which is the, one of the few things I know about this movie. This is a production company which we have had good luck with so far on this show. Uh, Bloomhouse. Uh huh. Okay, that's a uh, that's a that's a vote of confidence there. Uh huh. Um, I I I don't really have my finger on the pulse of a lot of horror stuff because um, it's not really the first thing I go to. 
So I feel because like you're a boss. You can just say because yeah, you're a boss. Largely. Um, <laughs> so I feel like I, because of that, I didn't. I don't really know much about the plot of this movie. I I am fairly sure I've never seen a trailer or a commercial or anything for it. Um, I feel like because it's called Happy Death Day, the thing that I want to have happen is I want it to be this kind of fun thing where the the main character like gets killed and something happens where she has to relive that day over and over to like figure out who done it um okay so there are some things i do know about this mostly because with bloomhouse it's one of those things where bloomhouse has got its finger on the pulse when it comes to advertising so when happy right. death day first came out I saw a lot of commercials for this in front of YouTube, in front of Hulu, in front of TV oh, okay. shows. Gotcha. I, because I don't I don't have a cable package, so I don't. Fortunately, I get very few advertisements for pharmaceutical goods and mostly just advertisements for media products. Right. Um, so I, I believe that the person is aware of the situation. This isn't a not aware of the time loop situation. I think okay. they are aware. Okay. Um, that's that's it, my preferred time loop is... They know yes. what's going on. Mm -hmm. And from what I understand, this is also technically a slasher comedy. So okay, I can get, I can get down with that. Yeah, which makes me think Scream in a time loop. Yeah, I I I don't mind slashers. I I, de I don't mind thrillers either. But if you can kind of like even have a little bit tongue in cheek there, I feel like for me that goes a long way. I don't I don't mind if it's played straight if, if it's super serious but if you can like wink and nod a little bit i think for me that's like oh yeah that's the good stuff mm -hmm. yeah yup yeah I, I, it's one of the ones that like like i said it's been on my list for a while and the bouncecast keep banging on about this movie too so it's then like okay yeah i guess i really should probably watch this at some point really soon yeah. because it looks good and then I never do, and then we do a show <laughs> about this kind of thing, and then right. it's like, well, I can't watch it now, because now it's on the list. Right, like, it's one of our theme seasons, we just gotta, just gotta make uh, it there. Yeah, there's, like, there's, if, good. if I wasn't such a Dune super fan, I wouldn't have seen that, and I would have added every Dune item into the list. Oh, I'm sure. still tempted to, to add every Dune item into the list. Yeah. Let's do it all, Boston. Oh, Let's do gosh. it in the order it was released, the 84, oh, the sci-fi show, and then the new one. Oh boy, yeah, that'll be that'll that'll be a trip we take someday, uh, but not not quite yet. Um, yeah, any uh, any other thoughts here about uh, about Happy Death Day before we get into it? Uh, no, not really, because unfortunately I'm way unaware of this movie. Mm -hmm. It's one of those rare occasions where I haven't seen something like I thought I was bad. Everybody thought I was bad. I still haven't seen Indiana Jones, which is on the list. Shut up, mm -hmm. everybody! You don't have to tell me that. Um, yes, it is on the list. I had to double check just to be safe. Um, <laughs> it, like it's one of the few ones that I haven't seen, and right. it, it, I, like I'm looking forward to it because it's like cool. I get to watch this. I probably watch it alone because everybody I know is a wuss, apparently. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll see how it goes. Like I'll be watching it alone because I have a five year old, <laughs> so <laughs> you know <laughs> that wouldn't that wouldn't be a good mix. Um, yeah, but right. you'll be watching it alone in the with the lights turned on and your security blanket next to you. I'll be That's watching true. it alone in the dark. It's not a security blanket; it's a weighted blanket. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Does it do the same job? Then it's a but security yeah. blanket, also. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, all right. On that note, let's go watch the movie. Yup. We're back. We watched the movie. We have looped the time. The time loops. Did we watch the movie or did happened? the movie watch us? That's right. The 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 great question of uh, critical misses is how how have we experienced it? Um, yeah, we're 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 back here from uh, Happy Death Day, uh, starting off a little loopier than I was expecting with the time loop. A little bit intro. Yeah. Yeah, which is I like, cause, yeah. Can we talk about that? Because like, I I have a lot of notes for this, by the way. Okay, uh, I don't, but probably for the same reason. <laughs> uh, so 
Yeah, I am a huge fan of, as they call them these days, crazy credits. Mm -hmm. The old Ubisoft is... joint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is you know when they take the, co the the company logos and then they just twist them a little bit. Yeah, uh, arguably the best one was I think the first one, uh, which was Waterworld. Oh, okay. Um, which is a Universal movie too, and the way that movie starts is it starts with the the Universal logo and then all the land disappears as the water level rises. Right, that's good. It's a really great opening kind mm -hmm. of thing. I love me some crazy credits. Be it that, be it that. Be it the Fast and the Furious, where it turns into the spokes of a tire, and then the tire that, starts That's a classic down, one. I like that one. And then transitions, you know. Yeah. This yeah. is really good! Yeah, this one this one is real good. I, I, I'm I, sort of impressed they did it twice. I was worried they were going to do it a third time, uh, and, and sort uh -huh. of ruin the whole thing. But, um, yeah, that that uh, that was good, a good piece of business. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I like that this movie starts off with the main character being quite possibly one of the worst humans that everyone has probably known. Uh-huh. So the way I've done this, and I'm going to do it with some movies this season, not with other movies. Mm. Um, I have done this by loops. Okay. So <laughs> okay. my impressions per loop. This is why I have so many notes, is because my first note is loop one. I like it. It's a really good opening loop. She's a D-bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's it's really interesting because I feel like you can see it a, coming a mile away where it's like, by the end of this movie, she's not going to be this person. Um, uh -huh. But I think it's a, it's a really good setup that she seemingly gets worse and worse and worse throughout the entire sort of intro loop. Um, yes. Sort of, I think, culminating in her her roommate giving her a cupcake and her just dumping it on the ground, which is, uh -huh. <laughs> is real great. Um, and you yep. find out she's like sleeping with one of the professors. Um, she's uh -huh. treating everybody uh -huh. in her life terribly. Um, she does the walk of shame, and in this instance, is quite correct in how she treats the dude who ambushes her under the bridge. Uh, mm -hmm. Not. Not the final ambush, the original ambush. Under yeah, the, the guy being like, hey, why aren't you answering my text? And she's like, okay, bye. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. to quote the line specifically, because apparently it was improv. Who takes their first date to Subway? It's not like you have a foot long. <laughs> it's real good. It's really, uh -huh. there's, there's some good stuff in this movie. Yeah. Like, that that interaction, I was like, yeah, okay, she's a D-bag, but he's a bigger D-bag. Mm-hmm. Most of the rest of the time, though, she's the biggest debug on the planet. Yeah, for sure. And, and well, it's uh, rather she's the biggest debug on the planet until you got to know Danielle a little bit better. Is she the like the leader of the sorority? The hub. Yes. <sighs> Man. Yeah. What like a <laughs> what like a love to hate him sort of character? Like that's who. But it's it's sort of this this interesting thing where it's like, boy, you are definitely nurturing this kind of sorority of D-bags here, because they are all real miserable. Real terrible people. Yeah. Um, yeah, and this this loop kind of culminates in a scene that I, I actually think was fairly well done, where she is sort of walking around campus and finds her way into this seemingly under construction tunnel um, uh -huh. that has a super creepy music box sitting in the middle of it. So let's go investigate. Uh -huh. um, and I feel like the baby mask is the thing most people have seen from this movie, at least maybe from the poster for the second one. Um, yeah. Um, I, I especially adore the fact that they're the, uh, what, the Bayfield babies. Yes, it's really good. Because, uh, sure, why not? Yeah. Um, I did make a note on my first loop, by the way, that 26 hours is all, is, is that all you got? Kind mm -hmm. of is a really good punchline for the rest of the movie, because it's like, yeah. okay, just putting it out there right in front. 26 yeah. hours, is that all you got? Yeah, okay. Oh, man. Yeah, I um, I think that the bit here with the, the killer in the baby mask, just kind of standing there 
with the the uh-huh. lights flashing on their face is real good. Um, uh-huh. It's it's like not the scariest or the most tense thing I've ever seen, but it is pretty unsettling. Um, yup. And um, she and good. The mask was actually designed by Tony Gardner, who was famous for designing Ghostface. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. That's that makes sense. That's a good. Uh-huh. That's a good mask. Um, I also like that she immediately uh, makes the horror movie wrong call of, well, they ran away. I'll just keep going through the tunnel. No big deal. It's like, uh-huh. Lady. Yeah, they went around the outside, so clearly they're not going to be in front of me at all. Never. Mm-hmm. That never happens. Not once. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> she immediately gets killed and then wakes up at the, the beginning of the second loop. Thankfully knowing that she's waking up in a time loop. Uh, does she figure that out straight away, or does she figure that out, like... I think she figures it out, um, like, during that day, where she she wakes up and she's she keeps calling it deja vu, like, when she gets back to sorority, uh, the sorority house, and she's like, I'm just having uh-huh. a real deja vu. And Danielle's like, yeah, cool, anyway. <laughs> yeah, her explanation for deja vu shall not be repeated on this <laughs> show. For the right, record, right? <laughs> because it's a really it's it's that great flip of the matrix reveal of like oh deja vu is what happens when somebody change when they change something, mm-hmm. and this deja vu is for is because of a redacted redacted redacted. It's like okay, mm-hmm. right? Okay, that's a pretty funny line. Yeah, yeah. There's some there's some good stuff in here. Um, I don't remember how this loop ends. Oh, this is the one where this she is the party. Bored- yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so loop two. About this like, scene. So, okay. so my notes for loop two is the head of the frat is even worse. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I really like the party reveal. <laughs> yep. Because she get she makes it to the party. She's she she shows up at the party, and then the baby face thing is opens the door on it, so she yep. just clocks it. <laughs> it's really good. Surprise! Oh man, yeah that that was a really good a really good shot there of just like, oh god he's here, and mm-hmm. she does the right thing which is just clock him. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. And then you get to the pleasure dome scene. <laughs> so I really, I really really like the reveal of the pleasure dome because I like that they twist. Uh, you almost expect it to be like really chilled music like the lights go down a little bit like you got your Philips Hue lights going on uh, and he Uh just unveils and it's just the loudest electronic music you have ever heard and more lights than should be in one single house it's yeah it's great a giant bong which comes which is (laughs) Chekhov's bong in this scene which makes me laugh Mm -hmm. yeah I it's it's really good, and it 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 smartly plays into how he dies, um, because there there should be oh, no she way she can't hear. Oh, how he dies! Yeah, how he dies, because there should be no way she can't hear him getting brutally murdered behind him, or behind uh-huh. her. But you know that music is way too loud uh, for anything. And she also, and she's also distracted by um, getting text messages from Danielle, who really likes that guy too. Yeah. And she's like, you better um, not be up there doing stuff. She's like, I wouldn't do that to you. Wink. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, so he gets brutally murdered. She thinks that he's the frat guy in the mask again. She's like, yeah, I don't know if I want to play this game. Um, uh-huh. And then turns out that, no, he's the murderer and totally kills her with a bong. Which <laughs> is, is pretty good. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah. That one is, that death is 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 way up That's there. That's a good loop. Yeah. Uh, the this loop is the panic loop, by the way. Okay. Loop three. Uh, so, yes, loop three okay. is the panic loop when she locks herself inside the room. Yep. Yeah, it's real. I, I feel like that's one thing I like about some of these early loops where she's just like, okay, okay, cool. You're gonna come for me wherever I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna lock myself in the room. 
Like I'm just I'm yep. gonna seal everything in here. I'm not gonna go anywhere. I'm just gonna watch some TV. Just ride out this night. No big deal. Uh-huh. I'm thinking like, all right, yeah, you know what? That's a pretty good plan. It is. And then obviously spooky things and creepy things start happening anyway. Because mm-hmm. why wouldn't they? Yeah. Um. I love the rolling blackouts, by the way, as well. That's kind of a, a nice little reference that gets brought in. That's Chekhov's blackout is going to come yep. into the effect later. Well, no, it feels appropriate, too. Like, if you've lived in dorms or something like that, or, like, cheap apartments or something, you're like, okay, cool, it's a blackout again. Like, give it two minutes and it'll be back. up oh, There it is. All right, reset everything in the apartment. Um, uh-huh. Like, it feels, it feels pretty appropriate. Um. How does she die in that one? Uh, the killer is in the shower. Mm-hmm. Um, and is this the one? She, no, she doesn't get pushed out the window. Um, I think she gets stabbed again. Yeah, I think you're right. I think. She's stabbed in the back or something. I think so, yes. Yeah. While trying to get out. I This one of the things I like the oh, most. Oh, oh go, go ahead. Is this the is this the fight that has the face smashing on the floor? No, that's the last fight that has the face that is, smashing on the floor. Yeah, that's the last one. Yeah, um, that's actually one of the things I like the most about this movie is it isn't the she's not getting killed in the same way each time. So it's not like mm-hmm. oh, inevitably I'm going to go to the tunnel and it's gonna I'm going to get killed. It's like no, no matter what I'm doing, the killer yeah. is going to find me and they're going to kill me. Um, I think that's a nice, I mean, that's a nice variation on it. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, loop four is when she tells, um, uh, Carter. Uh, thank you. Uh, when she tells Carter about it and mm-hmm. they have the discussion in the diner, I think it is. I think so. Yeah. Um, the reveal that he's a good guy. He slept on his friend's couch that night. Uh, right. And she is the biggest a-hole on the planet in this loop as well. <laughs> yeah. it It's it's nice to see her sort of realize that maybe her perception was colored by some herself. misconceptions. Her perception was colored by herself. Yeah. Well, and I, I think it's also because of the the culture around her too where it's like of course this dude took advantage of you like why wouldn't he he's a dude um which Mm -hmm. is not unfair um but it's it's nice to see that both of them are sort of like he's like well i didn't why would i do anything you're drunk as hell like i just i put you in the bed so you didn't die and i slept on the couch like what am i gonna Mm -hmm. do Um, with his uh roommate who comes in every day talking about how did he hit that hot Word yeah, I won't say. Yeah, it's real good. Um, oh, by the way, I love the today is the first day of the rest of your life sticker, by the yes. way. Yep. It's One she nice says little... she hates later on. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, but I think from this loop onwards, we lose counts because this is the suspect lists. Kind right. Of and it's also the, the medley of what am I going to do this time? I'm going to dye my hair. I'm going to uh-huh. try and do everything wrong. I'm going to abuse everybody yep. i'm gonna walk around gonna naked dressed up in, in camo and then watch the guy <laughs> uh, the guy i'm sleeping with's wife mm-hmm. that was a why not that that was a real i i do really like that she's like on all these missions to sort of cross all these names off the list and in each one she kind of uh a, she she meets her objective and the killer is like right there. It's just like, yeah. all right, I figured Every it out. Time. Slice. You know, it's just like, mm-hmm. like she I'm... figures out the guy that's been bothering him is gay, and then she turns yes. around and the killer is right there, and he's like stabbing her. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I I can't remember who it is. She's crossing off the list when she gets the baseball bat to the head. Oh, that one's rough. Yeah. I I think it's the doctor. I think she's actually in the process of trying to cross the doctor off the list. Mm-hmm. Um, which is when she sees the mask in his drawer, but then he walks around the corner and he gets stabbed, I think, or something like that. I believe that's one of the loops. If it's not in the medley, it's like one of the... I think that's the loop where she actually escapes um, through the <laughs> through the, um, the car park. The parking garage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is... That, that's a pretty good... Over. 
Yeah, that's a that her escaping is actually a pretty good tense scene of of the killer hunting her down kind of through the hospital and um Whoa. her escaping cuz I I believe that happens after she finds out that Hey, maybe there are some side effects to her continually dying. Um, yeah, because it's after it's after she gets smashed in the head with the baseball bat, which is a really good transition, like mm -hmm. her falling over and then it, it's land, like falling into in bed the bed to wake up. Yeah, um, and then after that, she passes out because she's clearly got a concussion, and that's mm -hmm. when she goes to the hospital. Yeah, um, <laughs> like the doctor's like, "You've been stabbed a lot. Like, I don't. You should be dead. I don't." Uh -huh. I don't know what's going on here, but uh... this is this is the one thing that bothers me is that it never comes back up again. Like it, it, it's mm -hmm. referencing the fact that she says she's getting weaker all the time, right? But then when she breaks the loop, does none of that exist anymore? Like does all does all that trauma? Go oh away? sure, or, yeah, I don't know. Or is she still living with that trauma of being stabbed, shot, and everything else that's going on? Right. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So that is something I'd like to have a bit more information on, but. But that escape is so good because, like, mm -hmm. she gets pulled over. She's like, "Yeah, I'm so drunk. I'm super drunk right now. Super drunk and yeah, totally I'll, I'll, high. I'll even help you when I go get out of the car." Yeah, the guy that plays the the cop is real good because his line of like, "Well, I guess I'm going to arrest you," uh, like this uh -huh. <laughs> this real like baffled response is really great. And then the 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 genuinely pretty surprising shot of him getting clocked by that car and then mm -hmm. it shoots to his like crumpled folded up body on the side of the road is mm -hmm. real it's rough. gross yeah it's, it's real, real gross it's a real good one um and i like the i like the the double take of her realizing that the killer is going to blow up the car the like os thing of like oh the fuel's pouring out of the car and then right before she blows up she has an of moment which is like mm -hmm. yeah that's you get two that's fair that's, that's yeah a bad time. definitely yeah uh i think the loop after that is the one where she sits down and has another conversation with carter mm -hmm. um where they're talking about everything that's going on and also you get the full reveal of the mom story in that one yes yep uh, um, do, 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 is that the then, is that the one where she sees the the uh, the serial killer on the TV? Um, and maybe that's the next one. <clears throat> I no, I think I think it is that one because that's when she goes to the hospital and then he kills Carter and then she does the bell, mm -hmm. which. Is another great transition, by the way. Yes, that's another really good. And I actually really like the 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 her figuring out the serial killer. Like when you see those six or eight women or however many it is on the TV, it's like, oh man, they all look just like her. Like they are mm -hmm. all the same. That's that seems very plausible. Um, I like that she she figures it out and resolves the issue, and then she's like. No, wait, but he snapped Carter's neck. That's, yeah, that's not yeah. going to work. I guess I got to. She has, she has a chance to win and that fails because fails on yeah. purpose. Yeah. Because she wants to keep Carter alive because he actually did get there to basically kind of help her not get shot. Mm hmm Yeah. Um, I think the, I think then after that, the next loop is the redemption loop. I yeah, I think that. it's like the perfect day loop as I was calling it. Like she's. She's making good. She's making friends. She meets with her dad for, you know, her birthday slash, sort of remembering her mom, um, which is oh, actually the pillow. She steals the pillow from the bedroom to <laughs> give it to the guy as he falls over. Right. She warns the she warns the guys about the the sprinkler. Like she, she does the whole thing. She makes friends with the the woman that sits next to her that's having the chocolate milk. Um, dumps it all over Daniel's yep. head. I, I think mm -hmm. the. Um, the scene that I I wasn't expecting to like, because I feel like it usually turns out to be not as well done, is the scene with her dad. Um, I I was pleasantly surprised that that was played pretty well by by both of them. Like it was a it was a genuinely solid scene. Um, I I was worried yeah. it was going to be one of those. 
uh, college girl and older dad sort of thing where it's like, oh, I'm disappointed in you. You're my baby. Now look what you're doing. Um, but they, mm -hmm. it turns out they both miss her mom, uh, which is pretty yeah. fair. Like, it's, it's a pretty and good she also, scene. Like, she also uses that time to admit that she's, like, not being the best pe best of people. Yeah. <clears throat> like, the, she admits, like, yeah, she kind of pulled away because she was running away from everything. It's like, good. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Good. And I like the, the scene right after that is, like, tactical camo. Let's go get this guy. Let's end this loop. Sets her, uh -huh. her watch and uh, goes, tries to hunt him down. Um, I like the 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 knife coming out of the side of the frame at the the cop's neck which was really oh, yes. a, a like nice God. little thing um and i like that i really like that she wins there's that great scene with the the power flickering um where she undoes she, the safety goes blackout. yeah it, it's nice to see that come back um she does take care of him and she does win and she celebrates with Carter and mm -hmm. the day ends and then she wakes up again in like one of the biggest gut punches of just like why why mm -hmm. what um mm -hmm. I love this because it goes from the it usually goes the opposite direction usually it's you get the a-hole loop yep. followed by the redemption loop Whereas in this one, it's the redemption loop immediately followed by the a-hole loop where she mm -hmm. just doesn't care anymore. Yeah. And I, I I really actually like who the killer is at the end of the day. Um, mm -hmm. And I like that... I like that it turns out to be her roommate, and I like that the last loop died because she ate the poison cupcake <laughs> for the first time in all of these loops she actually uh -huh. ate it in celebration um it's a really good reveal like i have my suspicions about the the roommate i have my suspicions about everybody if i'm honest like right the roommate the 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 head of the sorority the, yep. the husband the the doctor teacher husband fella mm -hmm. I, I have my suspicions about all of them which is what makes it a good kind of reveal is I suspect everybody, but nobody is guilty except for the one who obviously is. And it's it's and, the one that's been there the whole time, you know. Uh huh. And yeah. the, the best thing as well is it even does that thing where at the very very beginning of the movie, when she's flickering, I think it's the locked indoors loop when she's locked mm -hmm. herself indoors. She's looping through the no pun intended. <laughs> she's flicking through the TV channels, and you get that quick snippet of the of the serial killer before she changes channel yes. again. Yep. So it even does that movie thing of yeah, hit this news story now that you know you saw earlier. Now you know that this is the killer because we actually referenced it really early. Yeah, they're the like sprinkling like it, the breadcrumbs. Yeah, it does like three mm -hmm. fake outs, and I love all of the different directions it could go. Yep. Ditto. Yeah, and I the once the roommate actually um, sort of un unveils the plan. I like that they have, like, a real good fight. They just have a real good mm -hmm. knockout, drag-out fight. Like, yep, a... which this is the one that has the face smashing into the floor moment. <sighs> yeah, oof. That's a... That's a rough one. Um, no, but yeah. Yeah, and it... I, I like that it just... I like that they, they kind of don't deal with the aftermath of her talking to the cops and trying to prove it and everything. Like, you know what happened throughout the whole movie. They don't need to recap it. Like, the way that they recap it is Danielle talking to the newscaster, like the interviewer, and sort of talking about, <laughs> like, promoting herself and then ending up with, like, wait, is this local or national? Uh, that's, mm -hmm. a, that's a really and good... Telling off the sisters, including Becky in the background, who's trying to console the other, the other mm -hmm. girl, and it's just like... Chill yeah. out, Danielle. It's like, really good. Yeah. Go away. Um, but go probably on. my favorite thing this movie does mm -hmm. is the very end when it's actually the next day. Yeah, when it's Tuesday and, the eighteenth or whatever. Uh huh. And then Carter play like 
Cole's hair phone acts the exact same way he did the day before, mm-hmm. and she looks so panicked, and he's like, "I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday right. the 18th. Um, yeah. Between that and the movie having him talk to her and be like, "That reminds me a lot of Groundhog Day," and she's like, "I don't, I don't know what that is." He's like, "The the movie with Bill Murray." Uh-huh. She's like, "I don't. Who's Bill Murray? I don't know who that is." And she's like. I like the little bit between them, too, where it's like, well, are you for real? Have you never seen Groundhog Day? Like, come on. Um, uh-huh. But yeah, I, I I like where they li- I like where they leave it off. I like that they kind of don't resolve everything. I like that. Um, I I got to say, it's it's I really like the, the main character. She genuinely really does sell both being All terrible. stages. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. throughout the whole journey, like, she... I buy 100% that she's terrible, and I absolutely mm-hmm. buy that she is a good person at heart who's sort of... Uh, her and Carter are a solid match. And like you said, I buy all of the that entire journey all the way through. Like, she did a hell of a job. Yeah. Like, fantastically performed. I'd say, honestly, I'd say on all fronts. Yeah. Because I also absolutely hate Danielle. And that's yes. kind of the point. Yep. And I'm also you. You also do feel like sympathy for the roommate, especially when she has the good day and she's like, "Look, I've been a crappy roommate, and I'm sorry." Like, you feel the sympathy for for that, mm-hmm. and then you also feel the betrayal when you realize that it's legitimately just about the stupid teacher, right? At the end of the day, it's not even about, it's not even just about her being a bad roommate. Like, it's just, and it's a poison cupcake. Like, of Uh of all the things you could suspect being in that movie, it it definitely isn't that thing. I never thought it was the cupcake. No, no once did I think it was the cupcake. Yeah. It's, it's so good. Like, it's a really good, satisfying loop movie. Like, it genuinely is. And I, I, I think part of what I like about it so much is it's not like the perfectly written movie. I think, like you said, everybody's a really great actor in this. There's nobody that I was watching and be like, oh, that's not, they're not very good. Um, it's just a hell of a lot of fun. Um, and I, yeah. I, I don't think it was ever, it, it's never really campy. It isn't like, it, it's funny, but it's not a comedy. It's a thriller and a slasher, but it kind of isn't a horror thing. Like it does, it mixes all these genres really, really well in a way that um, it's it's maybe not the best movie I've ever seen, but I've had, I had a hell of a lot of fun for like the ninety something minutes I watched it. Yeah, it was a genuinely enjoyable ride. Yeah, and like, like I said, it wasn't. It was predictable, but not predictable. Right. At right. the same time, like. Like, it, it hit a lot of those time loop tropes, those time travel tropes. It hit a lot of that stuff. But at the same time, it never, like, ground them into the dust like a lot of time travel movies do. Mm-hmm. It was just genuinely pretty chilled out about the whole thing, which I think is, yep. is great. And I'll be honest, as someone who doesn't laugh at movies that much, a lot of this humor landed with me. Like, yeah, me too. I, I thought it was a lot really it solid. Yeah. And... Even moments that you're not supposed to laugh at, like the head on the floor moment. I was just like, ooh, <laughs> it's yeah. painful and I'm laughing, but it still looks painful. Yeah. Yeah, it's... it's. I was I was pleasantly surprised about how much I like this. I'm uh, very happy for us to watch the, the sequel at the, the mm-hmm. end of this season. Um, and I, I... You and I had both wanted to watch both of these movies... And because uh, everybody seemed to like them, if not have fun with them, um, and now I can totally see why. Where it's like, yeah, that was, I I had a blast at the movies. Um, yes, me too. Yeah. Um, and from what I understand, I know we didn't get an explanation for what was happening. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I do believe that the loop is explained in the next movie why it was looping interesting we'll see if that's a good or a bad thing <laughs> yep fingers yeah. crossed yeah it's a good thing we'll yeah. see uh all right any uh, final thoughts here on happy death day 
It was a good movie. A good start. Yeah. Good start to this season. I, I could see myself good watching start. this uh, every once in a while, just being like, yeah, that's a fun that's a fun thing. I'll, I'll watch a little bit of that, yeah. It's a pretty good Halloween movie as well. Like, Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like, yeah. it works out pretty nicely as a... Yeah, I want Halloween, but I don't want to be scared. Like, so for example, for wusses like you, for example, who don't yes. like horror movies, right? This would be a good Halloween movie. Yeah, it's a little bit up, more up my alley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Thank you very much, for everyone, for listening. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.